Hi, it's Veronica. In this video, I'd like to show you how I created this interaction where basically we can go to these countries listed down the bottom and what will happen is the plane will fly to the country and then we will be shown some information about that country, in this case a photo, but the information could be anything you want, of course, and we can then go to another country and the plane will fly there and show us some information about that country. So I'll show you how I built this. So back in my slide uh, in Storyline, basically I've got the visuals already on the screen, which is just a background image of a map and the plane. That's all the graphical assets I've got. And then the first thing you'll do is you'll insert a slider. Now, if you haven't done that before, you can simply go up to the Insert tab under Controls and you pick the slider that you like and you draw it on the uh, screen. So that's all you need to do to insert it. I've got mine one, mine already here. So let's have a quick look at this slider. If you select the slider on the slide, you will see a uh, slider tools, uh, ribbon, tab, menu appear up here. So in the design tab, you'll see that this one will start at zero, which means that it's right here on the left. That's its um, starting value is 0 and the end value will be 5 and the initial position so where it starts will be 0 which is this one on the left uh, and it'll move in one step increments and in this case um, I need to set this slider to update when the learner releases the slider and you'll see why in just a moment so that's basically it and you can format your actual slider in with any colors or thumbs that you would like, but um, we've looked at that in other uh, videos. So the next thing we want to do is, if we select the plane, what we want to do is we want to add some motion paths to get the plane to go to the different countries. So we wanted to get it to go to Argentina and Canada and China. So in the animations uh, tab, you're going to add a motion path. And in my case, I used the free, either the free form or the scribble will work fine and as you can see I've got them all in there already so there's one that's going to finish there and one that's going to finish there and there and there and if I can manage to select one of these now they're a little bit finicky there we go it'll tell me up here in the panel these are the options that I've selected for these motion paths so this one will go for four and a half seconds and I've timed each one to go um, more or less the same amount of time. So these are the options that I've got selected for them. So once I've done that, you can see on the side that I've got some sl some layers. I've got a layer for Argentina, a layer for Canada, China, Russia and Australia. So I've got all my layers there with my um, picture and a button to close the layer. and. All I need to do now is basically connect the slider moving to the correct motion path uh, working and also the correct layer working. So this is how we've done it. If you have a look here in the triggers panel, I'm going to say that um, we, I want to move the plane on freeform motion path one. And of course you need to know which motion paths you have used for each of the countries in this case because uh, Storyline doesn't allow you at this point to name your motion paths so you kind of have to remember or write them down. So I'm going to move the plane on freeform motion path 1. When the slider moves, if the slider is equal to 1 and 1 here would be Argentina and Canada would be number 2, 3, 4 and 5. So that's what's going to happen when I move the slider the motion path and the plane is going to go to the correct spot. Now sticking with number one which is Argentina the next thing I need to do is I need to show the layer Argentina when let's open up the trigger to show you so I'm going to show the layer Argentina when the animation completes which is one of these other events down the bottom on the plane and which animation well freeform motion path one because I know that that is the motion path that takes the plane to Argentina. And basically then you do the same with each of the other countries. So the next one is move the plane on free form motion path 2 which I know is Canada and I've done them in order. 
when the slider moves if the slider is equal to 2. And here's the one that takes it to China, and here's the one that takes it to Russia, and here's the one that takes it to Australia. And for each of those, I've done the same to show the layer. So show layer Canada when the freeform motion path to animation completes. So basically what it does is you move the slider, the slider is equal to 1, the motion path goes to Argentina, and then the layer uh, that corresponds, in this case Argentina, will be shown. And that's it for this one. That's how you can create a travel slider. Hope that helps.